Welcome back to the OFL Excavations. I'm here with Noah. How are mm -hmm. you doing? I'm good. How are you? Great. What's your job on the excavation here? So I'm here supervisor of Area E. Um, we started excavating in Area E this year, 2023. It's our first season and we've been here for three weeks. It's very exciting. We had some rough time getting through layers that are quite modern, but mm -hmm. now we're definitely into deep archaeological layers. Um, and it's very exciting. So, this is, is this your first time as a supervisor? But what, you've got history obviously in archaeology, yes. so what have you uh, so done I, so far? Yeah, so I finished my archaeology degree in Hebrew University mm -hmm. um, with um, um, geography as well. Oh, so, cool. all those wor worlds together. And for my first excavation, I went to Midras with um, Professor with Professor Rit Peleg Barkat. Mm -hmm. Um, and now, five years later, I'm here supervising myself over a small area. Um, and I'm trying to finish my MA degree. Okay. It's a, it's a rough time. But, <laughs> especially but, uh, when excavation. Yeah, especially, yeah. Um, so this, your site or your area is a little bit different mm -hmm. to the other areas. We've talked to Amir in D and Chris mm -hmm. in D1. But you have got some actual squares here mm -hmm. <laughs> as mm -hmm. opposed to some of their areas. Um, and you also have a lot of Hebrew University students. Yes. What, what's d d special about this area? So the Hebrew University students, so every first year at the Hebrew University when you come to study archaeology, at the end of the year you have to do um, educational excavation. They have to come here and learn what it takes to excavate physically, to mm -hmm. understand the whole excavation as a whole, if they need to wash pottery sometimes, to see the pottery from up close, but just helping out. Um, they are all over the area. They need to do their own writing. They have to um, write a report at the end of their at the end of the season. So they're in school. They're going to be they're graded on yeah. this as well. Yes, yes. Um, and um, the special thing about this area is that we st when we started, we didn't have any um, floors of the modern of the modern reconstruction. So we could pretty I don't want to say easily because it was hard, but mm -hmm. pretty fast we couldn't reach um, the layers and we didn't excavate it in the um, rooms or the architectural of um, that was reconstructed here in the 70s okay. um, yeah so our squares are going strong mm -hmm. um, we're trying we're starting to find um, architectural elements especially in the northern area we have a very um, impressive wall um, and this is this is an earlier wall than we kind of anticipated we believe at this point yeah it's 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 now we're definitely deep in archaeological mm -hmm. at, the, at the beginning at the first week we found some plastic in our findings we found some modern stuff today um they were clearing out the very big channel um in the southeast square and um this one it's a channel so things come through mm -hmm from all times so they found a soda can in it and they found a, a modern um, small pickaxe but now when we're taking it apart we know that everything underneath it should be ancient should be teaching us more about um, second temple period mm -hmm. um, wait so now northern area yeah. um, it's it's hard to figure out figure it out right now we need to we haven't had the time to look at the pottery just yet but we have a mixture of second temple and first temple periods over there mm -hmm. so we started to sift everything to really look through what's coming out we have many many coins in our in our whole area um every square we need we, we need to do the statistic at the end of the right, season to right, see right. which square which area where do we find most um coins but i'm sure they're gonna help us figure out some of the stati stat statigraphy and um they'll help us out with the data yeah mm -hmm. um so this is the last day mm -hmm. with most of your staff mm -hmm. here because the hebrew university students are, are done today so how, how do you anticipate the next couple of weeks going so we're probably gonna have to um figure it out on sunday we'll have some new um volunteers mm -hmm from all over but we still don't know them yet we don't know what experience they've yeah had what experience they are what they want to do we might have to give up on one of the squares mm -hmm. so the the square it's quite hard to excavate here because of the very tall wall right. it could be dangerous so we don't want it to fall on us so 
we might be focusing on only three fourths of our area, mm -hmm. but it's going to be great three. And these fourth. these people, all, all the Hebrew University students have done a lot of the hard work. <laughs> the Hebrew University students have done the right. hardest work. Right. They not only have to excavate physically, they also have to be learning uh, what a locus means, right. what a basket number means. They also had tours all those weeks. They had yesterday one of the hardest exercises. They had to um, draw, um, sketch um, plans, like stone mm -hmm. by stone plans right. and like cut. It was, it's very hard, um, but they managed to do that and they are still learning. Great, well, I think uh, by the end we'll have to have them back. I so they can see yeah, yeah, yeah. what the fruits it's of their labor it's, uh, it's, out. it's crazy to see Aubrey took some pictures of the area before, mm -hmm. like pre-dig. And um, now look at it. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's every it's. I started studying archaeology only six years ago, but it still amazes me every time that these kind of things just waiting below our feet, right. like I don't know, one and a half meters right. below our feet. Right, right. I think this wall was less right. and um, we're just digging and finding crazy things. Well thank you very much for your time. We'll have to catch up with you at the end of the excavation oh, as well. It will be interesting. Thank you.